Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and last week there was a filmmaker bundle released on Humble that I said there's a main product there was called Hit Film. I was going to check it out, let you know my feedback on the video, and this is that video. And I can give you a spoiler, my feedback is Hit Film Pro is amazing. I absolutely love this program, and I'm going to quickly show you it in action right now. So if you're wondering what this is all about, it's a film, I think it's kind of like Adobe After Effects meets Premiere. They're kind of the two mashed together. You can use it for just video editing editing or you can use it for special effects. And we're going to quickly look at both in this video. Now I'm only going to be scratching the surface because this thing is capable of so much beyond what I'm doing. Things like uh, color correction, camera matching, uh, importing 3D models into your scene. And we're only going to be looking at it as a basic nonlinear editor and some minor special effects in this video. Uh, if you're wondering, it is normally about, uh, let's say it's $520 for HitFilm Pro and Ignite Pro. The version you get in this bundle is 14, which seems to be the current version available. And uh, yeah, in the bundle, which I will link down below, you'll see uh, it's available for another 15 days, at least as of the time I record this. Hit Film Pro itself and Ignite Pro are available here for 30 bucks. So you're literally paying about 5% of their total price. And then on top of that, you're getting all kinds of special effects, music, um, stuff to go with it, a couple of plugins and so on. So it is a really good deal if you find yourself needing a film editing tool. On that topic, let's jump in and take a look at Hit Film Pro. Now, the part that probably impressed me the most with Hit Film is how easily I learned the basics. So if you're not doing a lot of video like myself, uh, you can really pick this guy up quickly. If you've used a non-linear editor, like uh, Movie Maker even, or any of the professional level tools, uh, Magix, uh, so on. Oh, sorry, Vegas Pro by Magix. Um, you'll immediately understand how to use this one. And I got to say, compared to Vegas Pro, this one is a thousand times easier to work with and four times faster. So it just... I am really shocked with how good this guy was. So you come in here and you start off with your template of what you're creating for. Everything from an Instagram post up to 8K UHD 100 frames per second video. And I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to do this pretty basic. I'll just do it like I was authoring for YouTube. So I'll do 1080p at 30 frames per second. And we'll go ahead and create our project. As you see, when you come in here, you get this initial kind of launch screen of, of stuff and, and YouTube videos you can link off to and so on. Our project is now created. Uh, you've got a lot of different options for configuration. You've actually got uh, workflows out of the box you can work with. So you can switch here between what you're working on. So if you're a colorist, you can switch out. If you're doing audio work, you can switch there. And it just changes up the layouts. It's a lot like the profiles that are available in Blender. Uh, but I'll stick with uh, normal video editing. Um, so we'll go with this guy and I'm going to start off. We got some media. We got to import it in. You can do an import or I can literally just drop this in. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is a straight up if you're using this just to cut video. Um, so the easiest thing I can do is bring this guy over, like say, let's drop our background in. So I'm going to want a new chat track. So we got, uh, the video track one and I'll drop in. So we're going to make it Christmas. Th oh, I have too many things selected. All right. I just want one drop that into the video channel. And like that. So here's how you would bring a static image in to work with. We're going to work on a nice little Christmas themed thing here. So we got our background. You can obviously set it in the timeline that you've got working on here. You just basically bring it to the edge and it will scale across that period of time. Uh, next up, let's bring in some foreground effects. So we'll go into video two there. Uh, actually, I'm going to use another one later. So video three is available. Uh, so video three is where we'll put our foreground fire. This is one of the special effects that comes with the, uh, the pack. It's pretty straightforward. It is going to stream across in a second. So you can see there, it just brings flames out like that. And now I'm going to use some of the, the manipulation tools that are available here. So um, we, can, we can bring this guy down here like so, and we can grab it. And you see over here with the selected object, we've also got properties that are available right here. So what I can do is I can come in here and I can just grab the scale. So I'm just going to scale that guy up like that. And then we'll bring that guy across the bottom like that. So there we go. So now we have this nice foreground flame effect. You can see your work in progress down here. And then boom, there we go. All right. So now we've got a very, very festive scene going on. Let's go into this mid ground layer right here. And we're going to bring in another image, our happy little snowman. And we'll drop it in here. Now I'm actually showing you kind of the basics. You can also do uh, cutting of clips right here. There's a lot of special effects we can get into. We'll get into a limited special effect in this version. But you see here we now have our snowman. We'll drop him down. You're going to notice there's you know foreground and background layers. Uh, so yeah, there is the absolute basics of creating a scene in hit film. Uh, very, very easy so far. And there's nothing really outrageously difficult to do. Um, and then what, we can probably want some music. You know, this is festive after all. This actually came from an earlier Humble Bundle. So let's drop in some Christmas music. 
I need to make sure that my sound is turned down on my local laptop so you'll only get this once. And there we go. We've got some jingle bell effects going on. Um, oh, we're too far in the timeline and my snowman is gone. So if we want, we can have the snowman's duration match the, oops, match the length of the background duration like that. All right, there we go. So everything is kind of going to be about the same size. We'll have our flame shot end there and we'll have our movie end there as well. There. So we just made a fixed length uh, multi uh, media. So we got uh, text in there. We've got some uh, film elements in there and so on. And we can go ahead and play. And there you go. You just created a very simple music based uh, video file going on. It's pretty cool stuff. Then we can actually kind of get into. So I'm going to collect the back, select the background right here. And you'll notice we have the options. We got behaviors and we've got effects. Well, I'm actually going to come here and I'll show you the full effects window. So here's the other part of HitFilm Pro that really shines. There is an absolute ton of effects here. Like there's an amazing amount of things that you can do here. So from, you know, color matching, motion blurs, you can bring in 3D, um, 3D aspects to your scene. What I'm going to do now, we'll do a generate and we'll drop in some text. So there. So we added the text effect is added to our uh, background image right here. And we just expand that out. We can select the text right here. Uh, and we'll say Merry Christmas. We got to get it even more festive, right? So there we go. There is our text put in. The only complaint I've had about this, and this is a very, very minor complaint, is um, if you come in here to formatting, there's the font, but it won't actually tell you. Um, it doesn't have a preview of the font you're using. So it can be a little trial and error picking the right font. Uh, we can position things right here if we wish, or we can manually use the widgets over there. So if I want to move this guy off a bit, I can just, oh, I don't want to do X, I want to do Y. So we can go up like that, and I can go back down here, and let's pick our uh, size. So let's scale that guy up. There we go. So there is our Christmas card, and it's pretty easy. Now we're going to go back over to a special effects, and we're going to make this really shine. So grab our background again, effects, and then we'll go to distort, and we'll put a heat distortion on here like that. There we go. So there we have a truly festive video. So we're going to go in here, and then boom, there is our thing. A, a very, very amazing what you can do in a very short period of time here. And like I, I showed you here, there are a ton of effects, including some like uh, Boris effects, which is from third party company. And you get a, a couple more effects actually in that current humble bundle. So you can extend its capabilities as well. But you would be amazed at just uh, how many things you can actually do here. So I could actually, for example, I could grab my image here. And then where did that guy go? There's a cartoon eyes. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. There it is. So I can put a cartoon filter on this guy, and there we go. Very cool, uh, very straightforward. Uh, you've got a number of different aspects and so on you can work with. And then when you are ready to go ahead and export it, you can either click this guy, or we can click here, and we'll say export. We can add it out to the queue. Uh, so we'll add the contents to the queue. You'll see here, let me just get rid of this guy from before. So there we go, and then this guy is ready for encoding. So you see here we've got a number of presets that we could have it out, so we could have it export out as a PNG sequence with L4 or without, uncompressed AVI, uh, Vimeo, or if you're producing for you, um, YouTube, you can e export it out to its format. So I'm gonna do a 1080p YouTube output. And this is not the fastest thing in the world by any means, but it, it is so much faster than I've seen from uh, Vegas, for example. Um, in this particular case, actually, to be honest, this is pretty quick. Uh, so this is faster for an export with special effects and so on than I get from Camtasia, which I use for most of my video editing, which is pretty um, simple in what it's working with. So there's a lot going on here. And that video is, uh, what were we looking at here? Like maybe, oh, there it is, 30 seconds so far to do an export out, which is is pretty impressive, I gotta admit. So it, it is uh, a fast export um, process and we are done. So now if you want, you can go ahead and actually run the video you just created. Uh, so I guess that's what we just made. There you go. There is our um, wonderfully generated special effects driven Merry Christmas uh, video that we just made here. And that is kind of how you would use HitFilm Pro. Now we've kind of looked at the, the one side of this equation. Now another thing we can actually do is composition. We're going to do a lot of the same stuff, but here you can get into some real cool special effects stuff. So I'm going to make a composite shot. All right, we're good to go. So here we are, composite shot.
And then it's, it's basically the same kind of process. So I can basically take all of those things we used before and we can put them in here. Uh, so now let me just make sure I've got the right order. So I want my background at the bottom, fire trail above, snowman at the back. All right, there we go. Uh, now I want to go back to my video viewer and now we, we need to lay things out again. So, but we've already seen a lot of this in action, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. Uh, so where is my fire? Oh yeah, I've got it. I got to move in a bit so we get it. All right, so let's move our fire down to the bottom like that. And once again, you've got the full transform and all that stuff options over here. So let me just scale that guy up and move it over again. Like so, and then let's grab our snowman. Uh, so this guy's right here. There we go. And we'll move him down to the bottom here and over. So what you can do now when you're in this mode is, oh wait, you should be behind the fire. There we go. So what we can do is uh, get into actual keyframing of details here. So if you've never used an animation software, a keyframe basically is you say, take a snapshot here and then take a snapshot here and then take a snapshot here and the software will do interpolation between those points. So I'll show you a really simple example. So here we've got this guy going on. We've got the timeline of it right here. I can come into, so with the snowman selected up here, I can go into transform and then for example, I can go to the position and I'm gonna just I grab that guy right there and I'm gonna double click it. And now you'll see I've got a little key was dropped right there where I am. So now what I'm gonna do is advance the timeline. And notice we get audio tracking as we advance the timeline. And let's move this guy over here and then we'll create another key. I don't know if I need to double drop. All right, so there we see we've got the two keys right there. Uh, and now if I go back and we hit play, we'll now see when that key kicks in, our snowman will start moving to the other point. And you can keyframe everything. So literally any of these points with a little circle beside it, you can create a keyframe for it. You can also come in here and tweak the, the value graph of those keyframes. So if you want it to move faster or slower, you've got that capability here. Uh, you can modify. So you're seeing here the, the, the Y axis and the X axis are being marked as separate graphs. So you've got fine tuned control over all of these attributes. And at the same time, you'll notice that we're in this guy right here. So I could go ahead and you know, let's zoom in and we'll show you this in action. Oops. All right, did not mean to move my fire, but that doesn't really matter. All right, so here is our snowman. We currently have it selected. I can come here, go effects, and then we're gonna do a uh, shadow. Uh, where are the shadows? Um, I guess I'll do a search. Drop shadow. All right, so we'll do a drop shadow on this guy. Uh, we can do the offset direction, so we're gonna do it that. Oh, I've got the fire selected, damn it. Okay, sorry, one second. So select my snowman. That would explain why I had so many options there. All right, so shadow, so drop shadow. We'll expand out the options on that. We can set the angle the shadow comes off. Uh, we can set the distance the shadow comes out like so. And there you see just another level of effects you can work with. At the same time, uh, you'll notice we had our music going all along. So here's my jingle bell music that we were playing in the background. You'll notice it also has, so it has audio options. We can change out the decibel levels. And again, we can keyframe that. So if we want to change it over the timeline, we can do so. We can set the volume lower and higher as we go through the timeline. And we've also got special effects variable that available there as well. So things like uh, we could add a cathedral effect, a balance. We can change out the channels. We've got a compressor for, uh, that's something I run through all of my videos on to make sure that the volume level is consistent. For example, uh, we can have it make it mimic being in a large room or that it was coming in over a telephone or short rave radio. We can add an echo to it. So here, let's go ahead with a cathedral. And now you hear it makes the sound like it's in a larger, more hollow building. And we can chain effects. So if we wanted to also have an echo to go with that, we can do so. And as you see, here we go. And you'll notice all of these effects can be expanded out and you've got various different options available for them as well. Now, not everything is keyframable. It doesn't have that circle like this, uh, but it, you can layer multiple effects on it. So we, here you can see we've got that drop shadow going. Uh, oh, I'm adding, who do I got selected? No, no, I got the, the music set. So. Um, yeah, there's a ton of different special effects that you can add to your creation. You've got an incredible amount of fine tune control going on down here uh, with, again, the keyframes. You could do it with the graph. Or you can do it with the keyframes over the timeline. And, and you don't even really need to get into this. If literally all you're trying to do is cut some video and do some special effects, you can ignore all of this stuff and just, you know, work however you wish. But it, it shocked me, first off, more than anything, I think, just how... Um, 
how, how easy it was to figure out how intuitive everything actually ended up being in the end. Uh, and again, the performance is, is shockingly good compared to other things I've seen. So you can do things like masking again. And then we got into, we haven't shown behaviors, but you've also got behaviors that we could have added. So I could have done predefined animations, for example, or zoom in, zoom out, or I could do things like uh, accelerate or attract to or follow gravity and so on. So if you wanted to have like, say the text bounce in or, um, a model come in or something like that, you can do so. And speaking of 3D models, not something I'm going to illustrate here. But that's another option we have. And so let's see if it's click here. You'll see you can also bring in 3D camera tracking data, 3D models, and 3D models with animation and actually integrate 3D into your 2D composited shot. So there is some pretty impressive stuff here that I am never going to get into. But if you're doing more professional quality work, you may find this is an alternative to the Adobe ecosystem, you know, the Premiere and Photoshop and sorry, uh, after effects that seem to be so prevalent. Uh, I am nowhere near a professional level of work, so I, I can't tell you if it is a one-to-one -one replacement but if you're like at least amateur to hobbyist level like i am and you need to do some film editing hit film pro is an absolute no-brainer again um there's only a few pieces of commercial software that have really wowed me over my life uh, lately uh, affinity pro um sorry affinity designer is one of my favorite programs i use it literally every day there's an image capture software called uh fast stone which I, I use it again almost every day camtasia nice easy to use video capture and um editing software uh and then this and like that's that's about it. Oh, and WebStorm. And those are pieces of commercial software that I would actually wholeheartedly recommend to anybody. Now, I don't know if I recommend HitFilm at five hundred dollars. That part that part's a little trickier. You know, is it worth five hundred and twenty dollars? Well, that's that's an individual professional level decision to make. But is it worth thirty dollars? So easily, or twenty seven dollars and sixty four cents? Oh no, thirty bucks. Sorry. Is it worth $30 in a heartbeat of all of the software that I have discovered? Thanks to humble bundle hit film has been by far and away my favorite discovery software wise. It, it is. Um, so I played around with magic's, um, Vegas pro, uh, used to be Sony Vegas pro uh, version 14. I think it was, I think I've even tried 15 since, uh, and, and they were fun, but they were confusing and slow. This is intuitive it's got a nice interface it performs really well and i can get the results i want out of it and it works in a manner where i expect it or how i expect it to work so again i am really impressed with hitfilm pro and if you are looking for a non-linear editor or you're trying to do some 2d animation special effects work HitFilm Pro is a no-brainer at 30 bucks. So hopefully some of you guys found that useful. If you use this in a more professional capacity, let me know. Do you think this could be a After Effects slash Premiere replacement? Get away from the whole subscription model. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.